Hey everyone, it's Amy from Finger Lakes Explorers. Today we're checking out Honey Oy Lake. Honey Oy is one of the smaller of the Finger Lakes towards the western side of the region and is off the beaten tourist trail. Most of the development along the lake is residential, with businesses mostly limited to the northern end around the hamlet of Honey Oy. If I'm being honest, and I almost hate to share this, but Honey Oy may just be my favorite of the 11 Finger Lakes. It's beautiful, it's quiet, but still has plenty to do, and it has a great small town feel. I just love it. On our most recent visit, we started the day at Sandy Bottom Park. A stop at this small park at the northern tip of the lake is a must for any visit. In fact, I can't think of a time in recent history when we visited Honey Oy Lake and didn't stop at Sandy Bottom. The views from the park are amazing. With the large ridges at the southern end of Honey Oy and the lake's small size, I think it's one of the more dramatic lake views in the Finger Lakes. The pictures really don't do it justice. But it's not just about the views. Sandy Bottom is a great spot for families and nature lovers too. There are two playgrounds, a beach with swimming access in the summer, and a nature trail with a boardwalk. We love to wander through the marsh along the boardwalk and try to spot fish and turtles and frogs with our little kiddos. It's just a short drive up the road from Sandy Bottom to the little hamlet of Hanioi. There we stopped off at Birdhouse Brewing for a couple beers and some snacks. Birdhouse is a small craft brewery right on Main Street in Hanioi. They have some awesome beer, super creative and tasty food, and the most relaxed, friendly atmosphere. It's quickly become one of our favorite breweries not just around Hanioi but in the whole Finger Lakes region. Not too far from Honey Oy is another longtime favorite brewery of ours, Noble Shepherd. The brewery is housed in some unique beehive buildings shared with the Wizard of Clay. The folks at Noble Shepherd aren't afraid to experiment with new flavors, and we're always interested to see what's new on tap. I highly recommend grabbing a flight to sample a little of everything and head out to the backyard patio to relax. Making our way back to town, we grabbed lunch at the Cornerstone Market, which has the most amazing baked goods and sandwiches. We recently learned they are planning to sell and close up shop, which is so sad to hear. However, there are other great food options in Honeyway to check out, including the Mill Creek Cafe and Twisted Rail Brewing Company, which is right on the lake. Finally, a day trip around Honeyway wouldn't be complete without a visit to Harriet Hollister Spencer State Recreation Area at the southern end of the lake. It only takes about 10 to 15 minutes to drive from Honeyway all the way up to this park. The park offers 22 miles of multi-use trails for hiking, biking, and cross-country skiing in the winter. But what makes this park a must-visit is the view overlooking Honey Oy Lake. After pulling into the park and passing the large parking lot, take the gravel overlook road about a quarter mile back until you spot a guardrail on your left with some benches just beyond. The views from this overlook are gorgeous and undeniably some of the best in the Finger Lakes. And if you think it's beautiful in the summer, be sure to stop by in the fall when the foliage is at peak. The view can't be beat. That wraps up our day trip around Honey Oy Lake. Did we miss any of your Honey Oy favorites? If so, be sure to add them in the comments below. And don't forget to like and subscribe to stay up to date on our latest videos. Thanks for watching!